Hey, it's Austin from Cork Pats. Let's talk about this photo from Traylon Burks' draft party. This one comes via request from Wade Evans on Twitter. And the photo itself comes from Kyle Deckelbaum. And no, that's not a name I just made up. He's a sports reporter and anchor at KATV. So with their first pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans selected Traylon Burks out of Arkansas. The Tennessee Titans select... Trillin Burks. Now, granted, they had to sacrifice one of their own, A.J. Brown, to do it. Hey, let's do it, man. Hey. <laughs> But they got him. One of Traylon's draft comps was A.J. Brown. So it's essentially like the Titans are getting a younger, cheaper A.J. Brown. Just with fewer career NFL catches and deleted tweets. I mean, this guy's fast, he's agile, and he likes to hunt wild boars with nothing but a knife? What the? F oh my gosh. You'll never be able to tell from his clean-cut look, and my man does look fresh, that in his free time, he likes to be a mixture of Steve Irwin and Bear Grylls. I mean, most people from Arkansas just like to call the hogs, like this guy. <laughs> Come on, piggy. See? But not Traylon. Nope. He prefers to slaughter them. I mean, forget the debate of duck season or rabbit season. To Traylon, it's porky pig season. However, another thing you probably won't see on Traylon's scouting report is that he's got great eyes. And notice I didn't say vision or downfield vision. I said eyes. And I mean that. He's got great eyes. Amazing beautiful eyes. You're going to need a GPS just to keep yourself from getting lost in these things. Maybe that's why the Titans drafted him. They just took one look at him and started swooning. More like woo pig swoony, am I right? See? I mean, most teams try and draft a guy who's a great athlete on top of being a model citizen, but the Titans decide to draft a great athlete who's just a model. Plus, his fit looks so clean. He clearly has the same stylist as God. He's even got the prayer beads. And my goodness, those eyes. One look at those eyes, and it's no wonder his draft party looks the way it does, where he's just surrounded by young, beautiful women. It's just a room full of gorgeous women and... Sam Pittman. Some people like to have their draft parties at home. Others like to have them in a bowling alley. Not Traylon. My man clearly held his draft party at the Kappa Alpha Theta house. At the Combine, Traylon showed off his 40 time. And at his draft party, he showed off his 80 pies. I mean, the Titans clearly knew that Traylon was a G. Probably because he's always surrounded by DGs. I mean, if the Titans don't fly him to Nashville on their private jet, he should try Delta. I mean, what happened after he got drafted? Did they go right back to planning their spring formal? I know the Titans are known for their rush game, but this is ridiculous. I mean, this is literally just a room full of girls who drive their daddy's Range Rovers. I mean, at most events with alcohol, you have to show an ID. Apparently at this party, you had to show your daddy's bank statement. This makes me wonder if he's on the phone with John Robinson or another girl. What's up, girl? You won't come over? But then again, if you are going to get drafted by the Titans, I guess it's best to surround yourself with women who will be celebrating their bachelorette parties in Nashville within the next five to seven years. Except for Tessa. She just broke up with her boyfriend, Aiden. And then check this out. Literally every single woman is on their phone, clearly taking photos and videos of the back of Traylon's head to get as many TikTok likes as they can. Again, except for Tessa. She's currently on a break from social media right now because her ex-boyfriend, Aiden, won't stop sliding into her DMs. She just needs her space right now, Aiden. But of course, he's too immature to realize that. It's no wonder they broke up. Even this woman's on her phone, who I'm going to irresponsibly presume is Traylon's mom. She's live streaming the thing, but I get it. Mama's got to get that clout. I mean, she carried him in the womb for nine months. The least he can do is get her 9,000 new followers. Also, shout out to baby Jack White over here. Just creeping in the back of the room. I see you back there. Also, that's Tessa's Aiden. When you flip the camera around, you start to realize just how smart of a guy Traylon is. Unlike his draft comp AJ Brown, he realizes that image is everything. And he knows that whatever image gets posted to the internet, it's all about angles. That's why he put all the beautiful women behind him and made all the dudes stand behind the camera. It's chess, not checkers. Except Traylon's chessboard is full of queens. Now, despite the room full of beautiful women, it should be noted that the beautiful woman sitting to his right is his fiance. And I feel like I've seen her at an NFL draft before, and oh my gosh, engaged to be married, probably took her bachelorette party in Nashville. Yeah, that's the same woman. Now, this woman at Traylon's left, I'm not sure if it's his grandma or his great grandma, but I do know she's his fiance's biggest enemy. I mean, if you thought Traylon had piercing eyes, check out this stare Nana's given Tommy Lauren. While Traylon's fiance is thinking about the three story mansion they're about to build in Green Hills, Traylon's grandma's thinking, no, you ain't. While Britt McHenry is thinking about getting a new handbag, Gam Gam's thinking about throwing hands. If a picture says a thousand words, this one says just two. Nah, bitch. Because Grammy's seen get out and she knows how this one ends. All in all, the Titans got themselves a stud. I mean, if the dude hunts wild boars like Leo DiCaprio in The Revenant, then you you gotta know he's an
and Alpha, which should go well with the rest of these Kai Omegas. Yeah.